Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Uh, I wanna pause for a moment and simply say thank you to all of you who spend two or three minutes, four minutes maybe, uh, every Monday watching Monday Motivations, commenting on, on all of the social platforms, emailing us, posing different questions, uh, giving me the feedback, uh, helping us improve, all of that sort of stuff. Like you have no idea how much it means to us, me and Matt, uh, and the way that we produce this content. It definitely keeps us going. We've been running Monday Motivation for, I don't know, well over a year, probably close to two years now. Um, and I love it. Um, so yeah, pause, thank you back in. So here's the question I've got for you. Are you going to be running 42 meters or are you going to be running 42 kilometers? This is the key difference in my opinion to those that win eventually and those that tap out and run somewhere else. Because let's face it, anyone can run, anyone can sprint 42 meters. It's not that far, but there's very few people that can run 42 kilometers because it takes a whole different element, a whole different mindset, a whole different bunch of training, a whole bunch of different discipline, a whole bunch of stamina that most people do not have. And in the same way that not everyone can run a marathon, I guarantee there's not many people that can run the sales marathon, the business marathon as well. And this is the key, right? There's three P's that you need to work with to embrace this mindset and win. I'm gonna wrap it up with a, with a specific action plan. The first one is patience. Okay, most people do not have patience, which to me with the opposite effect. So if everyone's over here with no patience, you should be over here with patience. You'll stand out in a really beautiful way. You'll be a beautiful minority. Patience is the key here. Most people want big sales to happen overnight when truthfully most do not. Most do not stick out the game long enough to win that massive account, to do those follow-ups, to schedule that extra meeting, to do that revision of the proposal, all that stuff. Most people don't play the game long enough, but I guarantee all of the good stuff is here. There's this classic saying, everything that is worthwhile doing takes time, and I, I really believe that. So that's the first one, patience. Next one is persistence, okay? Again, most people op operate over here with no patience, and they also do quit early, <laughs> okay? So they, they do one follow-up, one touch point, they try something twice and go, nah, it's stuffed, I'm out, and then they move to the next and the next and the next. The game is over here, persistence, doing something long enough with great feedback loops to work out what works, what doesn't work, but stick in the course. There's this great close, you know, if you've been really persistent, you've been trying to land an account for 12 months, you've done 27 touch points, you can look that person in the eye and say, Mr. Customer, the only reason I've been so persistent is I'm absolutely certain this is a great fit. If I didn't truly believe that, I would have given up a year ago. Like, you earn the right to ask that question where these people cannot because they haven't played that game long enough. So there's patience, there's persistence, and then there's perseverance. Meaning how well can you embrace stamina? Because let's face it, I'm sure the people run in 42 kilometers, there's plenty of times during that race where they go, I'm done, I'm exhausted. They wanna quit, but they don't. And that's the difference here, team. Embrace these three Ps. Play the long game. Don't get caught up in the short game, the instant gratification game. Everything worth doing is all about delayed gratification, the thing that takes time. And let me tell you, if you do this well, if you play this mindset, if you engineer your life for a 20 year game, a 30 year game, a 50 year game, what's your goals in 100 years? Those people with perspective, with that overarching view are the ones that stick it out. The other people, they're flaky, they're high and flighty, they're looking for the shiny, they get distracted, they don't stay the course. And now, of course, I've got empathy, empathy for this. You know, been in business five years, but please know that really, I've learned from my great mentors, the people that, like my pa, and, and people that have been on the planet a while, they all say the same thing. They always say, Steve, it's about patience. It's about long game. It's about sticking the course. It's about doing stuff even if you don't feel like doing it. That's the key. So, if you wanna do that, if you wanna be a one percenter, 
think like this, embrace it like this, learn from mentors like I have, and uh, I'm sure that it'll help you on your particular journey. And any other way I can help you in the meantime, just say the word.